X99 chipset right there. Um, but it's an Intel 6800, six core, 12 thread. It's a 280 all in one cooler. But anywho. on this baby there it is the in core the channel so guys guess what is coming to the channel near you that's right amd ryzen Red ripper pro 5975wx all phases complete So there's the CPU, let's see what motherboard I'll be putting that CPU in. There it is, the ASUS Pro WRX ADE Sage SE Wi-Fi Q. Workstation work. It's a long one. Quite heavy. Quite heavy. But um, you can see the 8 pin power connectors for the CPU. And then I think right down here, these two right here, is the extra power to the PCI Express slot because you can have four PCI Express 4.0 graphics card running at 16 times if you want. You can kind of see. We got one, two, I think three ATX 8 pin power, 24 molex. And we'll go over the board and unboxing. But there is the motherboard. Hold on. Take a look. Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4, 32 megahertz, 3200 megahertz, uh, 256 gigabytes in memory, which means just fine. Uh, operating system should be the Samsung 990 Pro. PCI Express 4.9 mm M.2 SSD. And then I have two of the uh, crucial P3 pluses. PCI Express 4.0 and the main drives. Footage that I'm going to be working on. 
on your emails. This computer can do pretty much everything. So that's the storage in the memory. Let's take a look at uh, the cooler, CPU cooler. Two. All in one cooler. Designed for the AMD socket SWX8 and the STRX4 and actually the Intel LGA4677. So should do just fine. I might add a maybe three more fans here to kind of push pull. Cool it just fine. It's very hard to use and should be just fine. Alright, so now I think I can probably show you how to buy and the rest will be the unboxing. Seasonic Prime. PX 1600 watts. Yeah, kind of a lot, you know. But this motherboard can have up to four GPUs, which is pretty good. One thing I don't know if I can mix the GPUs. If you have to have all the same uh, model, like 4080, 4060. 28 TIs, 10 UTIs, you can't mix them, you have to have the same one, which I do not know how to figure that out, but anyways, this will handle all my hands, it's probably more. Need it. Next will be unboxing everything, and uh, I'll show you the case. Right over there is the case. Can't see it, but let me uh, open up the glass case for you. There's the case with the door open. Can't really see it, can you? Should be plenty of room there. That is a. Uh, EVGA X99 uh, motherboard. It's got an Intel 6800, 6 core, 12 thread CPU in there. With uh, uh, EVGA RTX 1080 Ti. So uh, at the time, that was pretty good. At the time, but now, not really. Video editing, not really. So. So, it's crazy, I don't know, I have a lot of computers, um, but this might be the most powerful and so intriguing thing. Holy crap, what are you going to do with that? No, unlimited possibilities. Stay tuned. Frederick or Pony
see the PCM Express slots. Pretty massive. Okay, let's open up the memory and the MV drives. Let's give it a shot. Right, let's open up the MV drives. I could put them in. Figure out. Stay tuned for putting these babies in the mud. CPU and memory and all these. And I'll throw it in the case. Basically, they're all open. Let's take a look at this one. Mm -hmm. Just a normal PCI Express time, 16 slots and three slots. So I think it's time to put stuff in the motherboard. Need to say. Of course. Tools that I use. I fix it kit. Sure is. Okay, this. And I'll try first. I fix it. The CP. Asus Pro WS3RX8D Sage 
Apache SE Wi-Fi Tier. This is the second version of this motherboard. <laughs> Two slots, which I do have three. I'm gonna put in here. So at the moment, let's do the CPU. Okay.
here. Push down. SD drives. Maybe
take these off. Crucial P3. I think we need our child dryers. Large dryers. One more to go. Take apart that. So let's do that.
taken and disassembled. So we'll leave these two hard drives and these two mechanical drives. Some some point. It's a mess. Fits. A little update on the computer. I um, actually have it up and running. Or sort of. Let's turn it on. I don't have it completely finished, but I just want to make sure everything booted up. It took me a little troubleshooting with the memory. I had to actually, it only allowed me two sticks of memory to actually boot into BIOS and then I could load Windows. There it is. And then once I got Windows up and running, I uh, I could update the BIOS to the latest version and then load all of my memory up and running. Up and running. But obviously I have a little more work to do. Now that everything's running, Windows is loaded, I can sort of finish the build. And I have a couple of mechanical hard drives in the back that aren't hooked up. Right there. And a couple of SSDs I'm gonna use that were already in there. So.
to a ripper pro. They even do. Rise of 59, 7, uh, WX is complete. There it is, completed, up and running, Windows 11, new server, Red Ripper Pro, 5975WX, Dimitri Resolve installed, and it works wonders, 32 core, 64 threads, we do have an RTX 4080, and an ABGA GeForce, like 20 Ti. I think another 480 will be coming shortly down the road. But it is a Da Vinci is all power. It works just playing my videos. They play smoothly, as you can see. Playing my videos with no issues. There is no stuttering, there is no lagging. It plays very well. Let's look at my temperatures. Pretty good. Let's see my cars. Yes. Nice. 